Hello, I'm Elizabeth and it's good to have you here with me as we reflect on John chapter 6 verses 16 to 21. Jesus walking on the water to the storm-tossed boat on Lake Galilee. Jesus had been teaching the crowds near the lake and the day was closing in and the crowd of 5,000 were hungry. In this isolated spot, Jesus used a small boy's lunch and after thanking his father for the food, Jesus broke it up, miraculously providing plenty for all the people. He sent his exhausted disciples across the lake by boat to Capernaum. It was dark. When you're tired at the end of the day, do you find things are more worrying? There was a strong wind and the lake was rough. These burly fishermen, used to the moods of the lake, had rowed five or six kilometres and it was now the next morning. Jesus saw the effort, straining at the oars, and went down to them. Jesus does not leave us to struggle alone. He proudly watches our effort, as any parent does, when their children stretch to achieve new goals, or the same goals again. Jesus comes to help, to guide, and to accompany us through the rough times. He's watching and will not allow you to bear more than you are able. He will come when your strength or willpower is failing. We are never out of his sight. We will never be abandoned to the terrifying storm. Call out to him. What terrifies you most at this stage of your journey? Jesus identifies himself and tells the disciples not to be fearful. Trust him. Invite him into your little rocking boat. Verse 21 tells us immediately they reach their destination, the shore. Jesus will pilot your boat to a safe place. On the side of a little stone church on the shore of Lake Galilee, I read this plaque. It was here Jesus calmed a storm on the lake. He can calm the storms in your life if you put your trust in him.